Hi everyone, welcome to another session of A Day in the Life of. I'm so pleased to welcome Jyoti Chopra today, an IT business relationship manager at SCI Group. Hi Jyoti, welcome to our session today. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, before you begin, it would be great if you could just introduce yourself to us, please. Yeah, thank you, Suchitra, for inviting me. Yeah, hi, everyone. I am Jyoti Chopra. I started my career as an educator and then moved to the corporate world. I have an overall industry experience of around 15 years, and I have worked in various roles like driving the service management, digital transformation, and the business relationship management. And as you mentioned, currently I'm working as an IT BRM with SCI Group, one of the Canada's leading 3PL supply chain company. All right. Thank you, Jyoti. And you mentioned that you started your career as an educator. So what made you change your career path? Yeah, well, soon after my post-graduation, I started my career as an educator and I spent around seven years with children and I enjoyed my teaching profession. So, you know, the daily challenges of an educator to build relationships with students and deliver quality and engaging content, that's good enough to keep you on toes and I enjoyed that journey. So after spending around seven years in the teaching profession, I moved to the corporate world to explore new possibilities. Yeah, so how did you get to be an ITBRM? Well, that's an interesting and you can say a distinct journey, you know, <laughs> during one of my meeting with Suresh GP, he introduced me to the world of business relationship management and being a people person myself, I got so fascinated with this role. So I knew this is where I belong. So after being mentored by Suresh and getting certified as business relationship manager, I helped to establish the PRM role at my organization. Of course, there was a strong commitment from the management. Interesting. So just got the right opportunity, the right time to move into an IT oh, yeah. role. Right. That's you, you are at the right place at the right time. So what does a typical day of an IT BRM look like? Yeah, I'll say no two days are alike. Yeah. So but typically as a BRM, I start my day with looking at any urgent or critical support or escalations at my desk or mailbox. You know, we must keep things running and try to help remove all bottlenecks and bridge the gaps. You know, that's the role of a BRM, being a connector and a navigator. So like after addressing the urgency, I start with the scheduled meetings, could be planning or validating the plans or the strategic meetings. So I tell you that as a BRM, we wear different hats at different clients or maybe different projects with the same clients. So it all depends on the current and the expected relationship maturity level with that client. So we wear different hats. And, you know, some of the relations are purely tactical and we play the role of project manager or product owners, whereas with other clients at the same time, we have the seat on the strategic table and we do contribute to their strategy and, you know, invest uh, time in building relationships. So, but I'll, I'll reiterate that no two days are alike for us. Yeah, absolutely. And I think I've heard this many times, even when we on our level up shows, when our panelists speak, they do say that no two days of an oh, yeah. is the same. Right? Definitely. And so why do you think organizations need a BRM? So as I mentioned, like some organizations have explicit BRMs with the BRM title and some have just implicit BRM roles where people wear different hats in the different leadership roles, like maybe IT director, manager, CTO, CEOs, etc. They are performing the role of a BRMs without having the BRM titles. So, so we'd say that relationships are critical for any organization and, you know, better relationships bring better businesses. Having said that, like what makes BRM roles unique? So BRMs look beyond the service level agreements, the SLAs, and address things that are not always calculated, such as customer satisfaction, suggestions for improvements, or maybe incidents that cause the organization the most pain. So BRMs serve as a bridge or the liaison between the business partner and the service provider. So BRM is all about converging them to one platform. So we all work as one team starting from day one while performing the demand management, defining the business strategies till the implementation. So I can say that right tools and capabilities, BRMs can break the silos and solos within the organization. Right. And I think you mentioned convergence and I've done another interview earlier where my guest also mentioned convergence as a very key term for a BRM. So you have a BRMP. So what made you take up or decide to take on the CBRM training and certification? 
Yeah, that's a good question. And I'll say that BRMP is a foundation course, which uh, gives you the concepts and ideas about BRM. And it introduced the concept, the vocabulary, the tools, the, more, the core competences needed to perform this role. So it's more focused on what and why, if I put in simple words, you get what and why from this BRM. And if you know the famous golden circle of why, which is why is the core of central part of any role. So it helps you develop the purpose, cause, and hence the right mindset about the role of BRM. So to move from what is BRM to why BRM, and I needed to expand my capability on how. So CBRM is more of a practitioner course and I get all my answers of how be a BRM. So it's more focused on how. We learn to apply the tools from BRMP course in different situations. And I can say it's more of an application based with the more real life scenarios. And I'm really glad that I took the CBRM program. All right. And so how would you say has gaining this training and certification started to help you in your current role? Yeah, that's just I mentioned that CBRM gave me the tools and techniques to define the framework of BRM in a more formal and sustainable way. So like currently I'm working on developing the BRM toolkit, which can be used by all BRMs across different domains and perform their responsibilities. So that's what I got from the CBRM. And But most importantly, all of this is possible if your organization has a vision, intent, you know, and commitment to build the BRM role as a capability. So the very step for any organization to begin this explicit role is to understand why the BRM. Right. So it's recognizing why the BRM is actually required for an organization. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's the first step. Right. And uh, finally, Jyoti, there are a lot of people who are, you know, aspiring to become BRM. So do you have any advice for, you know, people who intend to get into this role? So, well, friends, life and business are all about you, the people around you, your relationships with them. So if you are a people person and love being around people and love investing your time and energy in nurturing these relationships, then BRM is your goal. Go for this role and enjoy the journey. Doesn't matter right now if you don't have the right skills or not. I believe that relationship management as a competency can be nurtured and developed. Take the first step and rest will follow. Right. Thank you so much, Jyoti. Thank you so much for sparing time with for us and just giving us a bit of insights into your journey as a BRM and how the certification has helped you in your role. Thank you so much. Thank you, Suchitra, for having me.